The University of Ghana is looking into the allegations against staff in the BBC investigation, which found teachers harassing women they thought were taking their classes. <laughs> the Sex for Grades documentary focused on the University of Lagos in Nigeria and the University of Ghana in Accra. At both schools, it showed university lecturers propositioning female reporters who were posing as students. Ghanaian activist Eugenia Bafour contributed research to the investigation. She says the fallout is helping more victims to speak out. Something good is, has already come out, even for the number of stories that came out, the, the kind of um, courage and strength they gave a lot of um, victims and survivors to speak out about their, um, about their abusers was a huge step for us in the right direction when it comes to um, you know, not being silenced anymore as a, as a victim. As first reported by the BBC, there are increasing allegations of sexual harassment by teachers at West African universities. The University of Ghana's Anti-Sexual Harassment Committee is investigating two of the accused. The committee head says they are intensifying their outreach but need student victims to come forward. All we ask of them is that don't endure any humiliation, don't endure any harassment. Let us take that responsibility. And once you inform us, you are virtually saying, I'm offloading this burden on you, take it up. And we shall do that. But if you don't tell us, and you keep it to yourself, you are emboldening the, the perpetrator. The University Student Representative Council, Women's Commissioner, says that while the allegations of sex for grades are disturbing, they are not new. She hopes the scandal will bring awareness to students who were not familiar with the university's policy that they can and should report harassment. Over the year, there hasn't been the enabling environment for victims to approach the SRC and um, address or um, inform them about these malpractices or these um, mishappenings that are going on. The Student Council is launching a campaign to support victims of sexual harassment and also one to educate teachers about inappropriate behaviour with students. Stacey Knott for VOA News, Accra.